monster, monster, monster. Okay, so another problem. I went for a ride yesterday and then I noticed when I got off the bike I had coolant on my boot and I checked the right hand side of the bike and there were coolant splashes uh, all over the engine case and I tried to work out where it was coming from and then I worked out it was coming from this bit here. It's really difficult to see because of the light. But there's a pipe that comes out of the radiator and then it goes into the engine here. It's like kind of this overly diamondy kind of shape fitting uh, with two bolts in and when I put my finger around it this kind of sealant came off um, in my hand so I don't know if someone's kind of patched that together before but that would have been a long time ago we're talking like nearly a decade ago before I got the bike um, but that is where it seems to be coming from so once again I'm going to drain all the coolant and then take these bolts out and I think there's some kind of gasket or o-ring or something behind there I won't really know until I take it off it's a bit difficult to understand on some of the diagrams online but I'll do that first and then try and work out what bits I need to replace. Good news is that the bolts weren't too seized at all and they are actually coming out okay I mean they were tight enough um, so I know that isn't the problem it's not that they weren't you know tight enough which is why it's leaking and um, I am hoping it's going to be something inside here. Let's take a look so I don't know if you can see in there um, does look a bit quite kind of dirty all around here, doesn't look like a very clean surface. Um, and then on here you can see where this sealant was all around this edge. Um, so I think someone has tried to fix that before. I'm surprised that I've not noticed that in the kind of nine, ten years that I've owned her. Um, and I think there's like an o-ring in here. I think on online it's on the diagram it's got like an o-ring gasket. Um, I'll try and take that out and then see if I can order the right bits. So I've decided to completely take off this tube here because um, it'll make it easier to kind of look at what's going on. So I've just taken off the Jubilee clip and I'm just going to use a flathead to try and prise off the pipe again. Okay, so finally after removing my fairing and the radiator protector, I've managed to twist the pipe off. It was well and truly stuck on there. I don't know if Someone's actually used some kind of sealant on it, maybe. It's a bit odd. Um, but anyway, at least that's off now. I think it's just really rotten and rusty. Um, so I can inspect this. I'm literally picking out bits of um, old paint from inside here. That definitely needs a flush through to get all that crap out. So, this bit here uh, is the O-ring. And that probably does need replacing, looking at it. That's pretty gross. Um, so I'm hoping, once I've got a new one in there, that will solve the problem. But I'm going to clean up all these surfaces and and hope that that does the job, really. If not, it'll be something else wrong with Monster, won't there? Okay, I'm just filming this so I can remember what way the tube goes on, the positioning of it when I put it back on my bike. So I'm going to take this jubilee clip as well and just check the connection onto this and make sure that the pipe's all okay. Because the last thing I want to do is get the new O-ring, put that in and then find out that the leak was actually coming from around here. And that didn't actually look too bad, that slid out quite easily. Again, I'm just going to clean up that area there, so when I put it back on there's no kind of dirt um, between the, the tubing and this plastic connection. So it was really difficult to actually locate this uh, gasket ring that goes on the radiator hose here. Um, which came out of this section. Um, I called Motorworks, unfortunately they didn't have it, so I ended up getting in contact with Sycamore uh, Motorrad in Peterborough, and they were actually able to order me the only one in the UK. And when I compare them, it's a bit difficult while I'm holding the camera, but you can actually see there is quite a difference in the thickness of that gasket ring, where that's just worn over the many years it's been on my bike, and someone definitely has tried to bodge it with some kind of on a gasket sealant or something at some point but yeah compared to the new one I'm hoping you can kind of see this is actually quite a lot thicker um, which is really good so I'm hoping that will create the seal that I need to stop the coolant from leaking through and um, just quickly as well on the um, Max Beach it was a bit confusing because it shows a diagram here with the bolt and um, washer going through um, my cat wants to come in Oh, oh dear, oh, she's tapping the window now. 
I'll put a letter in. Anyway, um, so yeah, it shows this um, bolt and washer coming through. And um, there's this little bush, but it does look like that's in here. But the two extra washers, there's already one on the bolt. But on the diagram, it shows the washer on the bolt here. And then there's another washer. So I do have two kind of the right size that I'm going to use instead. Um, so yeah, let's just get it all back together. Um, that's the kind of size washer I'm going to put on as well. M might be doing the wrong thing. I'm not really sure, but it's all a learning curve. Um, and now let's hope that um, she'll be riding good after this. All right, all right. Okay, so I've got my hose. I've got the gasket ring back in. Put a little bit of blue grease on the surface. And now I'm going to connect it back up by putting the bolts back through. I did give the hose a good um, clean out with a load of water. Um, I've tried to clean the surfaces as best I can. This isn't cleaning up that well, but it feels pretty smooth. So I'm hoping it'll be good enough to, to put the hose on. All right, so I've just finished tightening up this Jubilee clip that connects the other end of the hose. I did slot that one first because then it makes it easier to put this bit, the two bolts in here. But they seem to go in okay. Um, so now I'm just going to put some coolant back in. Panel's all back on. Time to take her for a test ride. Just got back from my ride and all seems good. Um, no leaks. Um, it's really dark in here. I should have done this outside, but there's no leaks coming out here. And she's actually riding the best she's ridden in ages. Um, it just feels like how she felt like maybe six or seven months ago before I started having these issues. Uh, maybe it was that there was just uh, air getting trapped in the system and the filter was clogged and everything kind of happened at once. So let's hope, now I've given her plenty of TLC, that she is going to be running okay. The only problem now is uh, trying to get petrol.